Welcome to Africa, the birthplace of humankind, the second largest continent with a landmass that can encompass several nations of the world, home to the most spectacular landscapes and wildlife on earth and an abundance of natural resources with 30% of the world's mineral resources, including 12% of the world's oil reserves, 42% of global gold supply, between 80 to 90% of chromium and platinum group metals, and 60% of the world's arable land. Africa is the true powerhouse of the world. As home to over 1 billion people with the widest variety of arts and culture, over 2,000 languages and a multitude of religions, Africa is truly the most interesting and diverse continent on earth, with 55 countries united under the umbrella of the African Union. A continent wide plan for a united or common economic and industrial program for Africa. This plan should include for setting up a common market for Africa, an African currency, African monetary zone, for a continent knit together in common policy and common purpose. We shall have made the finest possible contribution to that peace for which all men and women test today. Africa must unite. On the 25th of May 1963, at a meeting in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, 32 heads of independent African states agreed to the creation of Africa's first post-independent continental institution, the Organization of African Unity, OAU. The creation of the OAU was a manifestation of the collective desire by Africans to take charge of their destiny and work towards a continent where all countries were independent, universally free from colonialism and apartheid and united as one under the philosophy of Pan-Africanism and a drive to embrace Africa's culture and common heritage. The Charter of the OAU stated the goals of the organization, which were to promote unity and solidarity, intensify cooperation to better the lives of Africans, defend the sovereignty, territories and independence of states, eradicate colonialism and promote international cooperation. As more countries gained independence and Africa's place in the global arena changed, the need to transform the OAU became more apparent and urgent. The organization needed to refocus its attention from the fight for decolonization and ridding the continent of apartheid towards one of increased cooperation and integration of African states so as to drive economic growth and development and on the 9th of September 1999, the heads of state and government of the OAU issued the CERT declaration calling for the establishment of an African Union. In 2002, the African Union was officially launched as the successor of the OAU to deliver on the new spirit of Pan-Africanism guided by a vision of an integrated, prosperous and peaceful Africa driven by its own citizens and representing a dynamic force in the global arena. The African Union herald a new chapter in Africa's story, one where Africans were responsible for charting the course of their future and ensuring that the continent took its rightful place as a key player in the global arena. Let us all unite and celebrate together The victories won for our liberation Let us dedicate ourselves to rise step with the transformation and launch of the African Union, the organization rolled out the new symbols of integration and unity. 
The African Union emblem is at the heart of the organization's branding. It consists of elements that signify Africa's past, present and future. The palm leaves stand for peace. The gold circle symbolizes Africa's wealth and bright future. The green circle stands for African hopes and aspirations. The plain gold map of Africa without boundaries in the inner circle signifies African unity. And the seven interlocking red rings signify African solidarity and the blood shed for Africa's liberation and also represent Africa as one continent formed by its five geographic regions, Eastern, Western, Northern, Southern, Central and the sixth region representing the African diaspora. The African Union flag consists of a map of Africa encircled with 55 stars, which represent the 55 countries that are members of the African Union. The African Union anthem, titled Let Us All Unite, is a musical celebration of Africa's past, its present and hopes for the future. To achieve its vision, the African Union Constitutive Act was crafted as the guiding framework for the organisation and the legal instrument to accelerate, facilitate and promote the continent's integration. The key objectives of the African Union are defending the sovereignty of African countries, championing the continent's transformation through private sector engagement, economic integration and participation in global trade, encouraging multi-stakeholder engagement to promote universal health and to improve living standards and providing a safe environment for Africans through conflict resolution and promoting peace and security. Through its key institutions and regional alliances, the African Union also works to accelerate political and socio-economic integration by working with member states to coordinate and implement policies aimed at promoting sustainable development in key growth sectors such as agriculture, infrastructure and energy, including the use of modern research and integration of science and technology as part of the development agenda. To achieve the vision of an Africa whose growth is inclusive and people-driven, the organisation works to ensure gender equality and development and that women are active participants in decision-making. Africa's youth are presented with opportunities to contribute to the socio-economic agenda and even the participation of the African diaspora is included in the development discourse. On the global arena, the organisation defends African common positions and champions the cause for Africa speaking with one voice in all areas of international cooperation, from trade and defence to foreign relations. Guided by the various continental treaties and charters on citizen participation and citizens' rights, the African Union works with member states to promote democracy and good governance and to ensure the upholding of human and people's rights. Ultimately, the African Union, in the spirit of Pan-Africanism, is consolidating all national and regional efforts in all spheres to ensure Africa attains greater unity and solidarity. From its headquarters in Addis Ababa and through the work of its various offices in the continent and internationally, the African Union works to deliver on its mandate and implement policies and programmes as guided by its key organs, which are the Assembly of Head of State and Government, the Executive Council, the Permanent Representative Committee, the Specialised Technical Committees, the Peace and Security Council, the Pan-African Parliament, the African Union Commission, the African Union Judicial, Human Rights and Legal Organs, the African Peer Review Mechanism, the Regional Economic Communities, the Financial Institutions and the Economic, Social and Cultural Council. 
The Assembly is the supreme policy and decision-making organ of the African Union and is composed of all heads of state and government of member states. The Assembly determines policies and priorities, elects and appoints the leadership of the AU Commission, admits new members and approves the annual programme and budget. It also determines and approves the key structures, functions, powers and regulations of its organs. The Assembly Chairperson is a Head of State of Government, elected by his, her peers for a renewable one-year term. The Assembly Chairperson also represents the African Union Assembly at global forums. The Executive Council is composed of foreign ministers or ministers designated by the governments of member states. It supports the Assembly and coordinates and takes decisions on policies in areas of common interest. Other functions include electing members of the African Union Commission for appointment by the Assembly, promoting cooperation and coordination between the regional economic communities, the African Development Bank and the UN Economic Commission for Africa, determining policies for cooperation between the AU and Africa's partners and promoting gender equality in all AU programmes. To facilitate the coordination of key sectoral programmes at continental and regional levels, the Executive Council oversees several specialised technical committees or STCs, which are composed of ministers and senior officials of member states. The STCs work closely with the AU Commission in technical areas such as finance, social development, employment, health, youth, gender equality and infrastructure, amongst others. The Permanent Representative Committee, or the PRC, consists of ambassadors and permanent representatives of member states. The PRC reports to the Executive Council and conducts the daily business of the African Union on behalf of the Assembly and Executive Council. Amongst its key functions, the PRC monitors the AU Commission budget as well as other administrative and financial matters and the implementation of policies, decisions and agreements. Through various subcommittees, the PRC oversees various issues which include finance and administration, trade, multilateral cooperation, issues of refugees and internally displaced persons, funding for emergencies and the structural reforms of the African Union. and Security Council, PSC, is the Union's main body for the prevention, management and resolution of conflicts amongst member states. Made up of 15 members from the five regions, the PSC is a collective security and early warning arrangement intended to facilitate timely and efficient responses to conflict and crisis situations in Africa. It operates under the African Peace and Security Architecture, APSA, which is the framework for promoting peace, security and stability on the continent. The PSC is supported by the AU Commission, the Panel of the Wise, which consists of highly respected African personalities from various segments of society who have made outstanding contributions to the cause of peace, security and development on the continent. The Continental Early Warning System, which works to anticipate and prevent conflicts on the continent and to provide timely information about evolving violent conflicts. The African Standby Force and the Peace Fund, which provides financial resources for peace support operations, such as the AU Mission in Somalia. At the heart of the African Union is its Secretariat, the African Union Commission. Located in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, the Commission is responsible for undertaking the day-to-day -day activities of the African Union. The work of the Commission is overseen by the Chairperson, who is the Chief Executive Officer, the Legal Representative of the AU and the Commission's Chief Accounting Officer. 
He is supported by a deputy chairperson who is responsible for administration and finance. The principals oversee several directorates, departments and institutions which work together to ensure the key programs of the African Union are implemented in key areas such as conflict resolution, peace and security, infrastructure and energy development, agricultural development, trade and industrial development, democracy, law and human rights, health, migration, labour and employment, promoting sports, arts and culture, education, science and technology, youth development, economic integration and private sector development, civil society engagement, gender equality and development environmental protection. Key in the implementation of the various programs of the African Union is the African Union Development Agency, which is based in Johannesburg, South Africa. The agency's key programs are on human capital development, specifically on skills enhancement, employment and women's empowerment, industrialization, science, technology and innovation, regional integration, implementing regional infrastructure projects and promoting African trade, natural resources governance and food security. Also working to promote funding of Africa's development is the African Union Foundation. The foundation mobilizes resources from the private sector philanthropists, individuals and donors within Africa, the diaspora and globally to support key social development activities. The main bodies of the African Union that deal with issues of peoples and human rights and the promotion of good governance are the African Commission on Human and People's Rights, the African Court on Human and People's Rights, the AU Commission on International Law, the AU Advisory Board on Corruption and the African Committee of Experts on the Rights and Welfare of the Child. The work of these institutions are guided by key treaties, such as the African Charter on Human and People's Rights, the African Charter on the Rights and Welfare of the Child and the African Union Convention on Preventing and Combating Corruption, amongst other legal continental treaties. The key financial institutions within the structure of the organisation are the African Central Bank, the African Monetary Fund and the African Investment Bank. The African Central Bank will work towards building a common monetary policy and single African currency as a way to accelerate economic integration. It will promote exchange rate stability and avoid competitive exchange rates depreciation, assist in the establishment of a multilateral system of payments and eliminate foreign exchange restrictions that hamper the growth of world trade. The African Investment Bank will promote economic growth and economic integration by promoting public and private sector investment activities and mobilising resources from capital markets inside and outside Africa to finance investment projects in African countries as well as mobilise resources for investment in rural sector modernisation. It will also provide technical assistance to countries to support execution of their investment. The African Monetary Fund will facilitate the integration of African economies by eliminating trade restrictions and providing greater monetary integration. It is expected to provide financial assistance to AU member states, act as a clearinghouse and undertaking macroeconomic surveillance, coordinate the monetary policies and promote cooperation between member state monetary authorities and encouraging capital flows. The APRM is an instrument used by African states to voluntarily self-monitor their governance performance. Performance and progress are measured in four thematic areas. Democracy and political governance, economic governance and management, corporate governance, socio-economic development. Each review leads to a national programme of action for the state concerned to address problems identified and progress reports are presented to heads of state and government. 
there are eight regional economic communities within the continental structure and they work to facilitate regional and continental integration and ultimately the creation of an African economic community. To provide an opportunity for African civil society organisations to play an active role in contributing to Africa's development agenda, the Economic, Social and Cultural Council was established in July 2004 as an advisory organ composed of different social and professional groups of AU member states. ECOSOCC worked with the African Union to contribute to the promotion of human rights, the rule of law, good governance, democratic principles, gender equality and child rights. changing world and a vision to boost Africa's economic position and overall development, Africa needed to implement a solid strategic plan to ensure that future generations contribute to and benefit from what the continent has to offer. Working with a wide variety of stakeholders, including private sector, civil society, youth, women, academia and policy makers, the African Union developed Agenda 2063, Africa's blueprint and master plan for transforming the continent into the global powerhouse of the future and into the Africa we want. Agenda 2063 places the aspirations of Africa's people at its core and aims to ensure that the growth and development envisioned for the continent is sustainable and inclusive and supports the Pan-African drive for unity, self-determination, freedom, progress and collective prosperity pursued under Pan-Africanism and African Renaissance. Agenda 2063 has been developed as a 50-year plan from the year 2013 to the year 2063. Underpinning the plan are the seven aspirations of Africa's citizens for prosperity, inclusive growth and sustainable development, integration and unity based on the ideals of Pan-Africanism and the vision of Africa's Renaissance, good governance, democracy, respect for human rights, justice and the rule of law, to live in a peaceful, stable and secure environment, a spirit of pan-Africanism to prevail and tap into Africa's rich heritage and build a strong cultural identity, active inclusion and participation of all citizens of Africa in decision-making where no child woman or man will be left behind or excluded. Positioning Africa in the world as a unified, strong and influential global player and partner with a significant role in world affairs. To meet these aspirations, Agenda 2063 prioritises the implementation of strategic projects that will drive growth in key sectors and lead to the rapid transformation of the continent. These projects are the Integrated High Speed Train Network, the formulation of an African Commodity Strategy, the African Continental Free Trade Area, the African Passport and Free Movement of People, the Africa Outer Space Strategy, Silencing the Guns, a single African air transport market, the Grand Inga Dam Project, the African Economic Forum, establishing African financial institutions, the Pan-African e-Network, the African Virtual and e-University, Cyber Security, the Great African Museum, the Encyclopedia Africana. Underpinning some of the flagship projects are continental frameworks such as Comprehensive African Agricultural Development Programme, the Programme for Infrastructural Development in Africa, African Mining Vision, the Science Technology Innovation Strategy for Africa, Boosting Intra-African Trade, Accelerated Industrial Development for Africa. To realise the ambitions of Agenda 2063, the organisation commenced the process of redefining its structure so as to re position itself to better deliver its mandate within the evolving economic, political and social needs of the continent.
This exercise, termed the institutional reforms, resulted in the decision that the African Union needed to address five focal areas, namely focusing on fewer priority areas within continental scope, specifically political affairs, peace and security, economic integration and championing Africa's voice in the global arena and also reduce duplication in roles through division of labour among AU, RECs, continental organisations and member states. Institutional realignment with a view to create a lean and performance-oriented senior leadership team as well as reviewing the structures of the organisation to improve service delivery to African citizens. Connecting with African citizenry by providing continent-wide public goods and services. Enhancing the role of youth and women in society and within its own organisational structure. Increasing private sector participation in Africa's development agenda at the policy level. Ensuring the rollout of an African passport by member states to promote the free movement agenda and setting up a volunteer African youth corps and facilitate cultural and sports exchange. Ensuring that it operates in an effective and efficient manner by rationalizing and reducing the number of summits and meetings and focusing on external partnerships that prioritize Africa's development agenda. Ensure Africa is self-reliant and finances its growth and development agenda by ensuring sustainable financing for continental programs by implementing 0.2% levy on eligible imports, establishing an AU reserve fund and implementing the highest standards of international financial management and accountability. With a clearly defined structure and a transformational development plan encapsulated in Agenda 2063, the African Union is geared to deliver the pan-African vision of an integrated, prosperous and peaceful Africa. The Africa we want. Let us all unite to design the future we desire and to build the Africa we want by visiting www.au.int.